afternoon everyone. I'm making this recording in the afternoon under the favorite spot in the school where I'm staying at present. And behind me is the beautiful statue of Our Lady Mary Help of Christians. And I come here every afternoon to spend some time talking to her. At this afternoon, my talk will be about a certain incident when I started my aspirantate. I was so fortunate and say blessed to start the aspirantate from my priesthood in a shrine dedicated to our Blessed Mother under the title of Our Lady of Happy Voice. It is a place in India, somewhere in the east, near a city called Calcutta, and it's in a shrine 60 kilometers away from the city. It's a place called Bandil. There is where I started my aspirantate. And the wonderful thing about that place is that shrine of Our Lady of Happy Voice is visited by so many people, all different races, and I would say all different castes, because India has got so many different castes. And they all love to go there to visit the statue of Our Lady of Happy Voice because there's a miracle regarding this statue. Like here in the Philippines, the statue of San Benigno. Well, there in India, the statue was found near the ch church, but not at the site. But there was a river flowing at the side of the church. And this river is called the Hoogli. Now, it seems that one night in the year 1599, that was when the Franciscans had that church and had their monastery there. And one morning, uh, they got up and they heard a lot of commotion and a lot of uh, noise. And they went out and they found that the people there of the place, they were not Catholics, but Hindus and Muslim, they were carrying a statue of Our Lady of Happy Boys. It's a statue of Our Lady standing in the boat. And if you read in the, say, in the encyclopedia, or if you want to know something from the YouTube, or the, you know, anything to do with internet, you can find the story about the statue. Now, this statue was found in the river, but the low tide and the statue was just there in the middle of the river floating. And they were surprised because they didn't know, the people of the place did not know that it was uh, Our Lady. They have no idea of Christian life or Christian practices. But all the same, they were attracted. And so what they did was they went and got it out from the river and they brought it towards the church. And the prize were surprised to find that statue. And it seemed that there was a shipwreck in the sea and after the ship was destroyed, the statue was floating and it reached just near the church of the Christians in India. And this statue was the statue of Our Lady of Happy Voice. The Hindus and all the other people brought it to the prize and they kept it in their church. But then they saw, found so many people wanting to visit and see this miraculous statue that they could not keep it in the church. And so on top of the church, the terrace, they decided to build a small chapel. And there in the chapel, in the top of the ditch of a little chapel they built, they and so the statue attracted all kinds of people of all religions. And they came to know the statue because many of them, just imagine, will receive favors and graces by going and praying in front of that statue. They called him Maria and also Mother. And so many, many non-Christians started coming and now it's a place of devotion, not only for Catholics, but for all denominations because Our Lady of the, the Happy Boys was the one that attracted all of them. And they always talk about it and they receive so many favors. And I was fortunate enough when I was already a priest to be in charge of the chapel there that they had and the church that was under the Salesians. 
and I wrote uh, an article every month in a small magazine called Our Lady of Bandal and I used to get so many letters from different people of different religions always speaking of some favor he received from our Heavenly Mother. So in the first years of my aspirantate, I was so happy to study there and I felt it a great privilege and a blessing to start my vocation for the priesthood in that church of Our Lady of Bandal. So I encourage you to continue your love and devotion to Mary. And I'm sure as Don Bosco said, your devotion is strong and very great for Mary. You will also see miracles. So I wish you a pleasant evening and I hope your devotion to Mary will always continue. God bless you. Good evening.